Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.1 Beta 2 update. So, yesterday night, I have received iOS 15.1 Developers Beta 2 update for my iPhone 10 R. As you can see, the update came in about 819 MB on my iPhone 10 R. Now, if you're having iPhone 10 R and using iOS Developers Beta profile, the update should come in about the same size. And also, if you are having the public beta profile installed, then the update should be available around the same side. But keep in mind that these updates are available and also these updates come in different sizes for different devices. So if you are having maybe iPhone 11, iPhone 12 or any other devices, so the update size could vary for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about what's new in this update and there were many bugs present in iOS 15.1 beta 1. And as of now, many users also complain that they are facing many bugs and many issues with iOS 15 stable update. So in this video, we are going to talk about what are the update details what was the update size and what's new with this ios 15.1 beta 2 update so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, first let me go to the settings and general and about section. So as you can see, if I take a look here, so it says iOS 15.1 and the build number is 19B5052F. So that's the new build number for this iOS 15.1 beta 2 update. Now I had taken a screenshot before, so let me show you that uh, if I could just find that. So as you can see before updating the build number was 19B4042H and also before updating as you can see the available space was 28.16 GB and after updating as you can see it has little bit sort of decreased that's just okay it's 27.74 GB. So now one more interesting thing is that as you can see before updating the modem firmware on my iPhone XR was 3.50.09 and with this iOS 15.1 beta 2 update surprisingly we have got a new modem firmware for iPhone XR that is 4.01.00 that's visible here. So it's a good thing that we are getting to see a new modem firmware for iPhone XR but I have also checked with couple of other devices not with every devices this modem firmware comes in so this modem firmware will be coming to specific devices which had issues with the previous built of beta so you know keep in mind that this modem firmware is not available for every other devices but if you are having an iPhone XR so definitely you will get to see a new modem firmware update with this iOS 15.1 beta 2 now guys talking about what's new with this iOS 15.1 beta 2 specifically I did not find anything new but this update was mostly about fixing many of the bugs that were present on the previous built of betas so first let me talk about the most general bugs that got fixed with this update so if you go to this face id and people who actually use the apple watch you know a lot of people were complaining they were not able to use or unlock the iphone with the help of the apple watch that got released with ios 14.5 update so after updating to ios 15 many of people were facing such kind of issues so with iOS 15 stable update, with iOS 15.1 beta 1, people were facing the issues wherein people were not able to unlock the iPhone wherein they have a you know, Apple Watch on their wrist and the unlock with Apple Watch feature was not working properly. So Apple had worked on that and Apple got it fixed with iOS 15.1 beta 2. Now talking about one more weird issue that Apple has fixed with this 15.1 beta 2 is lot of my subscriber and lot of people commented on my previous iOS 15 videos that there are you know a weird touch issues with iOS 15 update. So people updated to iOS 15 and after that probably if you tap in photos and if you want to you know pinch in or pinch out a photo or if you want to you know in general if you are you know scrolling through UI if you want to tap an application there are weird touch issues with iOS 15. So that is actually fixed with iOS 15.1 beta 2 update. So now let me use this iOS 15.1 beta 2 update for 3-4 days. I will come back to you with a follow up review whether the issues which were present in iOS 15 those issues are fixed or not. 
Now talking about the battery life, I know a lot of people are interested in battery life. So let me show you before you know taking a look at the battery graph. Let me go to the battery settings. As you can see, the maximum capacity is still 89%. So before updating, the maximum capacity was 89%. And I'm glad to report that after updating to iOS 15.1 beta 2, the battery health has not dropped. And also talking about the battery life, as you can see, this is not my primary device anymore. But still, I said with my previous beta update video that I'm actually happy, you know, kind of happy with the standby time. So let me just use this device for a few more days. I will definitely come back to you guys with a battery life update video. So this video was just a quick video that to let you know that I have already received iOS 15.1 beta 2 update. And now talking about whether you should install iOS 15.1 beta 2 or not. If you already are in beta profile and using iOS 15.1 beta 1, definitely you should go ahead and install iOS 15.1 beta 2 because that will just fix most of the bugs that were present in the previous betas but definitely if you are on ios 15 stable series of update i would definitely not recommend you to install this ios 15 beta profiles because there are multiple bugs as of now with ios 15.1 beta 1 and beta 2 so i hope that this video was kind of helpful and insightful if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and also as i said before if you do enjoy this kind of videos give this videos you know a like and also consider subscribing to the channel that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of such kind of videos for you guys now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye